Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be going over the Harbor Freight uh, disposable paint cup system, which is basically an exact knockoff of the original 3M PPS cup system. All right, folks, so this is the uh, Spectrum over at Hobo Freight. Uh, it comes with a, basically a set of five in there. You get uh, one hard cup. It's got the measurements on there and the locking ring. You get five liners and uh, five lids that have a built-in uh, strainer screen on there. So you always want to strain your paint before you put it in your cup. This actually has it built in, so you don't necessarily have to. If you're running like a really viscous material, really, really high build, like uh, basically a sprayable Bondo, you may want to take this out and then strain it with a you know your traditional uh, funnel strainer uh, into your cup. And then uh, you don't have to worry about any issues with this thing getting clogged up. So this right here is basically a knockoff of the 3M PPS system. Uh, 3M changed to a PPS 2.0, and so they changed this whole mounting arrangement. You can see it's exactly the same. So I don't know if, uh, since they went to the new system, if they're, uh, I don't know, their copyright or patent or something ran out and they were able to use them to make them. Well, that's good for us because these are a little bit cheaper and they're easily available at the local Hobo Freight. You don't have to go to your paint supplier or order these online. And being disc I think these are being discontinued now so you can't even get the uh, 1.0 anymore unless whatever they happen to have left in stock. I'm not sure if they're still making them or not, but um, this is the, uh, the 3M primer gun that has that uh, type built in. This is a uh, um, changeable. I use this one over and over again for primer. It is, uh, I don't know what size it is. Oh, so, so this is a 1.8 tip. So this is good for your primer surfacers. So there's a lot of benefits to using the disposable cup system. Um, I've used, in a past life, I used the 3M system in one shop and then I used the, uh, the Sada cups in another shop. Um, I like them both. Um, I think they both have, uh, um, you know, the pros and cons, just like anything else. I have this uh, 3M primer gun here that uses these, uh, this style of cup. And uh, so that's kind of what I went with. Now, a lot of your, you know, budget level, Harbor Freight, whatever, Sears, I don't know, can you get paint guns at Sears anymore? I don't know. But uh, your regular auto parts store um, or hardware store or whatever, paint guns. Uh, we'll have a cup similar to this one. You can see this one's like 20 years old. It's got cracks and everything. It's not leaking yet, but uh, there's, there's, like I said, there's several advantages to that. One is this has a little vent hole in the top. So most of the paint guns lids will have some sort of a vent hole. So that way when you're drawing the material out, air can replace it. Otherwise you create a vacuum and you're, you start spittering, spattering, and not getting any material out. One of the problems with this and the other one is that the uh, the hole will get clogged up and then you won't get any air. This one does have a nice screw on lid, so I don't, I've never had a problem with it leaking out the lid, but I have had an issue uh, with this clogging up. So switching over to the original cups, this is from my uh, clear gun and this is from um, my uh, Asada primer gun. They're both a screw-in style. As you can see, one's male, one's female. One of the biggest issues I have with these is depending on temperature and the age of the, of the gun, they just fall right out. So this is nothing on there. So if you have this style, I mean, even from um, some of the cheap guns, you have just a press-in lid like that. And then you see guys like they put tape all around it. They have uh, rags wrapped around their gun and everything to keep from dripping and stuff. So with the with this system, you don't have that issue. So um, how do you get this type of cup to fit on your gun when it's supposed to be just a screw in? Well, they also have that uh, figured out over at Harbor Freight too. So you just get an adapter that fits your gun. There's a couple different sizes. Um, I even got one. This one actually is probably from well, this is from the paint supplier. I'm not sure who actually made this one, um, but uh, I have one that fits my Iwata, my LPH 400, my clear gun. So I can run these 
the cups on there. Um, I have one on my solder primer gun and it just screws right in there. Um, I even have one for my mini jet. This one has a very unique, just a twist type. Same as the, uh, the RPS, same as the, the three, uh, the SADA cup system. So I can use the system on any of my guns. Um, this one right here on the screws. And then I'll put this on here, if I can get it open in time here. Where's my knife? All right, so let's see if I can get this opened up here. I said, I don't want to see if I can get this open up real quick here. This stubborn little package, huh? Five minutes later. All right, voila. So you just get the little adapter, fits your gun, thread it on there, tighten it up with the wrench, and uh, you're all set. Uh, makes cleanup a whole lot easier. Uh, that's another benefit is the cleanup. Yeah, see, this thing just falls right off of there. So, of course, this thing's probably 10 years old. So this thing right here, you know, you got full of material in here, you're using up a lot of rags and a lot of thinner um, to, to clean out the cup um, in addition to your gun. So when you have this style, you just throw this away and you're done. So this one on here is uh, what I've been using for primer. I still have some material in there. So what's nice is you can cap it off. Um, you don't have to pour it into another container and put a lid on it. You just cap it off if it's going to be a few days before you use your uh, uh, your paint again. Now, obviously, that's not going to work with anything that's been catalyzed. So this is epoxy primer. It's still liquid, but I can tell it's like super thick. So um, this I'm not going to use this again. So some materials will have like you know an eight-hour pot life. So once once you put your catalyst in there, uh, you have eight hours to use it. You know every paint's different. Check your um, Check your uh, data sheets, it'll tell you exactly what you can do with it. So you can cap it off there and then, uh, you know, save it for the next morning or uh, later that afternoon or whatever uh, whatever your schedule dictates. Uh, if it's a non-catalyzed base coat, you can store it, you know, almost indefinitely, you know, just like anything else. Clear coat or, or catalyzed primer, no, you're not going to do that. So, but uh, like I said, this is just like the uh, 3M unit, so basically you have your cup. Stick your liner in there, put your material in there. Snaps on there, obviously you want to keep it upright because you don't want to be spilling it. Put your uh, ring on there. Choose your gun. Hooks on there, give it a quarter twist, and you're all set. So as you're spraying, like I said, it's going to cause a vacuum. That's so what's going to happen is this bag is just, it's like I'm pushing on it, it's not going. As soon as I pull the trigger, it lets me pull it off, push it all the way down. So the bag will just collapse. And then once you're done with your spraying, you should take it off of there. Well, so once you're done spraying, I turn it upside down, I pull the trigger, and that allows any of the residual paint to come drain back down. And like so, I put a cap on there if I'm gonna save it for a little bit. And then I clean my gun. And then once I'm done with this, I'll usually have, this is usually just all kind of wadded up like that because it's empty. And then you can just toss it in the trash can. If you want to, you can let it sit out for a little while, let it make sure it's dried up before you throw it away. If you want to be environmentally friendly, you don't want to just throw liquids, uh, chemicals into your garbage can. So. And in a painting session, I'll actually reuse this uh, several times. Uh, like if I run out, in this little guy and then they make another batch, I'll just reuse it. So I just carefully pinch the side, pull it off, fill it back up, put the lid back on there and go again. And then when I'm done with it, like I am done with this one right here, take this off. You should be wearing gloves in case it spills. It kind of glued itself to the side a little bit. No, it's okay. And there we go. That's it. Now this is, like I said, still liquid. And if you're not careful, you can make a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this cap off, not right this minute, but I'm going to take this cap off and uh, let it air dry. So that way I can just throw it, chuck the thing in the trash can and put a new, and put a new uh, liner in there and be all set. When I was in the paint shop, 
we'd have, uh, you know, be painting several different colored cars, you know, the fender here, door there, whatever we're painting uh, that comes through the shop. Um, <laughs> it might have like three or four of these or more uh, sitting on the uh, mixing bench um, with the job number on it or whatever to know which car it goes to. Because uh, I might be cutting in a panel, um, then the, the tech will put the panel on, and then I'll come back and I'll have this already mixed up for, you know, to paint the, paint the panel or door handle, mirror, whatever, uh, mirror cover, whatever I'm doing. One nice thing about this is it's got the measurements right on the side. Like if you're doing a, I don't know, two to one, um, you can only go up to here. And if I want to fill it up all the way, I don't have that measurement. So I like to measure out in here. These are 20 ounces, it says. So I can go up to the 20 ounce mark and figure out my ratios and, and get a full 20 ounces in here and then dump it in there. And I can run a strainer, a cone strainer um, through that if I wanted to, or just, you know, keep the one in there. These right here also, um, I use these over and over and over again as well, because they're made to be disposable. And if there's some reason I, you know, I'll either let something sit in there too long or can't see the numbers anymore or whatever, then I'll use it one last time and then turn it into a pencil cup or something um, or toss it and then grab another one. But uh, I use those, uh, I keep using, I try to save money and use them over and over again. So that's uh, basically it in a nutshell. Um, these have been really good. Uh, used a few of them already, um, using priming the car. Uh, I'm gonna continue using them. Um, it keeps it just so way easier to clean. You're not going through so much uh, thinner, cleaning the cup, making a mess everywhere. And I uh, don't have to worry about lids popping off, leaks coming from the lid or the or the thing. Oh yeah, the other one of the other great benefits of this uh, system. Let me pop this back on here. Is when you're painting. See, I'm using my clear gun here. Pop that on there. Give it a quarter turn twist. One of the biggest benefits of using this system over a paint cup that's been taped on with towels wrapped around it is if you need to get down underneath the car to a rocker, you can actually paint this upside down. Now you will run out of material because it is a gravity feed gun, um, but uh, you can you can go really quick and and make a pass uh, before you have to uh, turn it over again and refill. Because like I said, this will collapse as you're painting. And so the paint will stay kind of up in this area for the most part. But like I said, if you, if you keep spraying like that, you're just going to run out of the paint because it is gravity fit. But like I said, you can get a, you can get a pass um, if you need to get in there. Sometimes I'll, I'll turn it up like this, get my pass, turn it up like that, get another pass. So that's, uh, that's these uh, fake knockoff PPS cups in a nutshell. Uh, you can see this one's actual 3M product here. Whereas this is the Hobo Freight, but they look identical on the lids. This even has the same little notch in there and everything. So um, I'm really happy that uh, Harbor Freight has these. Um, so I don't have to try to track down um, the 3M stuff either on Amazon or through the Body Shop Supply Shop. The Body Shop Supply Store, <laughs> about an hour away from me. So um yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked that they're available uh, through Harbor Freight because there's one local to me and they're all over the place, so they're easy to get. So I did also buy a refill kit. It comes with an additional uh, 10 sets. It doesn't come with a cup. It's just 10 liners, 10 lids, and um, 10 little, so these little caps. So I, I just didn't want to run out. So, you know, if you're doing one paint job, um, you're probably going to want... Uh, obviously a starter kit so you can get the hard cut but uh, you're probably going to want this as well especially if you're doing like one piece at a time um, you know you break out the gun you maybe you prime your fenders one weekend the next weekend you do your door next weekend you do the other door you know whatever the case you're going to run through these pretty quick um, that's why i like these small cups because uh, you don't have to uh, use a big old cup if you're only using a little bit of material so i'm not sure what else i can tell you about these things um other than like i said i'm glad they uh they, they exist over at Harbor Freight. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.